<sighs> Let's try this again. Hopefully with a little bit better of a start. Good spawn. Dash juice up. Cool drink up. Everything is up. Everything is looking up. Ha ha. Sup. Do, 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 do. Oi! Pay attention to me! so hard to dodge. Yeah, I can punish this. Oh, fucking shit. Fat-fingered. Rockdor, god damn it. Small monsters, bane of my existence. Fuck the large monsters, the small ones are the biggest threat. has slightly higher DP. G fucking Iraq Tor, god damn it. Fuck off. <sighs> Maybe I should just equip torches at all times. Torches help against Araktors because they kind of live in lava, so to speak. Attack the back leg at least. if these rock doors keep getting in the way. He's gonna come up here. Laser. Mistakes. I'm not even gonna worry about punishing him that time. Hip check. His t 
taunt is so infuriatingly short. Make Super Pound be able to hit the entire arena, goddammit. Every hammer would be happy, and every lance would be sad. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious, though, if, um, if uh, the Super Pound could hit the entire arena, or the entire area, but its damage would be based on proximity. So the closer you were to the actual monster's head, the more damage it would do. But that would make the Super Pound hilariously overpowered. There's a potion while I'm at it. Don't get many opportunities to use those. Whoa. Ooh, you're gonna eat a friggin' Renopolis Ignitor. You are my favorite thing ever. Burst expired, that is not good. Late on that response, but believe me, I noticed it right away. I think I can still hit him. Can hit him. Yes, I can. It's useless to try and triple pound him. He's uh, on the floor like that. Wriggles too much, and I'm pretty sure Super Pound does more overall damage if you're able to hit with two of them. Shit. If he does the jump up attack, I won't be able to avoid it. Ugh! Oh god. I'm in the lava! I dislike fighting him in here, it's too small for Ergon in here. Stamina. The effect is worn off. That is not what I wanted to see. Fuck. That is what I did want to see. Attack is so hilariously counterable, it's unreal. Aw, oh, goddammit. Fuck! Damn it, I'm terrible! Yeah! If you grunt, you actually get an extra um, three frames of invincibility during your roll. Proven fact. Are you coming up? Do jump up? Not really. Okay, I can punish this. Not punish this. Shit! Jump up! Ah, God, that attack is so hard to avoid. Like, I, I can't make heads or tails of it. No matter what I try, I always get hit by it. Laser, I can... Easily, easily, easily destroy that attack. It's not very much anymore. Fuck! <sighs> See? Like, no matter what I try, I just cannot avoid that attack. It's infuriating. And every time you get hit by the attack, since he goes under lava, you always start on fire. Very, very annoying. One of the reasons why a lot of people don't like fighting in Nantor. I can't get him this time. Actually, I probably could have, but I don't like wasting sonic bombs. It's annoying! God damn it! Laser. 
laser. Nope. Ah, oh, really? That didn't hit anything? You fucking off? Yes, you did. That's why the sonic bomb didn't work. It's pretty infuriating. I'm gonna use the Mega Dash Juice now. Damn it, that was... I'm surprised no Renoplos got in my way. Jeez. It's only a rock door so far. Normally, Renoplos are the biggest bane in my existence. Laser? Yep. Two, three, four, up, down. Laser. Get his back leg. Get his back leg again. I'll punish him there because I didn't, wasn't ready. I was, but I. Ah, tremor proof. It would have been so nice right now. I could have put on that um, tremor proof set that I had. Maybe make this fight a little easier, but he does that body slam so little that it wouldn't really make much of a difference either way. I don't know why I did that. I could have just punished him again. Power decreased. It's okay. The faster my weapon power decreases, the better, because that means I'm hitting him a lot. Oh shit. Thank god he did the hip check! <laughs> if he did the laser, I might have gotten hit. It would have been very painful. Very full of fire. Fire and brimstone. SHIT! Doing good, we're doing good. After that first Iraq tour muff up, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Shit. So did I say Iraq tour, I meant to say Iraq tour. Oh, I did. Nice. Two, three, four back leg. If you're wondering why I keep going for the back leg as opposed to the front leg, it's because he his back leg is slightly weaker to impact damage than his front leg. So, that is why. I think it's by like 10%. Sup. Get the fuck over here so I can repaint you. What a dumbass. Oh shit, maybe I'm the dumbass! Ugh. Mashing those buttons. I don't know if you heard that, but I was mashing. Oh, he's tired. Sweet. Excellent. Fucking mashing him straight in the fucking face. I can't punish him there if I use a sonic bomb. I would like to use a sonic bomb there. But, unfortunately, he was in the lava. I couldn't have punished him. God damn it! I can, however, punish him here if I get it out fast enough! Nope. 
Yeah, punishing uh, Ignagtar with um, Sonic Bombs is definitely a lot harder than uh, punishing uh, Diablos with Sonic Bombs. Because the way they work is, Sonic Bombs is, well, for one thing, you need to um, wait until they're not in Rage Mode, which, if you're fighting Ignitor, could potentially be the entire time. Well, if you're with a team anyway, so you'll only be able to use Sonic Bombs very briefly. But yeah, right now I'm ready for it. What? It did not work. Maybe. Well, the point is there's a very, very small window. It's a very, it's a much smaller window with Ignitor than it is with uh, Diablos. I think the way they work is, is they can't be doing anything. Actually, fuck it. I'm just gonna sharpen while he's on the ground. Not waste any time. Besides when he gets up. There we go. Be able to punch this. Shit! Rock Tor almost destroyed me. Once again, speed burst expired. I'm not worried about it. Fucking Iraq Tor extended the hitbox, so I wasn't able to hit him. Two, three, four. I got the front leg. One, two, three, four. Up, down. I do realize that my cool drink expired. I'm not really worrying about that right now. Now I'll worry about it. Mega Potion. It's rare. He doesn't really do this that often when I'm solo. Can't punish him again. May as well only go for a triple pound. <sighs> Tremor proof. Shit! Oh god! Hockey's fast. He's in rage mode. He does the jump up, I won't be able to avoid it. Because he's in rage mode. <laughs> oh, fucking awesome. Well, that worked. For some reason. I don't know why it worked. I tried that before. Mega Death Laser. Mega Laser of Death, so to speak. It is a scientific term. One, two, three, four, up, down. Jump up like a death laser. You can tell he's gonna do the uh, the uh, the laser if he um, if the ground starts to shake. And uh, when when the ground starts to shake, the easiest way to um, to uh, prepare for it is just to stand in the middle of the arena. That's that way. No matter where he comes up, you should be able to. Um, to, uh... Really? You went to five? Jeez. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, you, um... Stand in the middle of the, uh, area. And no matter where he comes up, you'll be able to counter it, so... Just a little pro tip. From Mr. Me. Mr. Me, yes. It's like, it's like a Mr. Mime, except it's a Mr. Me. 
like a death laser. Excellent. Uh, damn it! That was a lot faster than I was expecting. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, yep. <laughs> I knew it. I thought for some reason I could outrun him. Now if I get hit again, I'm probably dead. Nope, he's gonna do the Mega Death Laser. I probably should heal, but I'll do that now. Tail Whip. It's not very effective. On the ground. Thought he would go to eight. Yeah, Ignactor's got a lot of health. Never really noticed that until I fought him solo. Eh, yeah, broke his back leg. Yeah, I never really noticed that until I fought him solo for the first time. He has a lot of friggin' health. Way more into the Nurgon. One of the highest HP amounts in the game, I think. You know, aside from, you know, the Elder Dragons, of course. Then again, he is a late-game monster. Mega Death Laser. Mega Death Flinch! Pwned. I really just say pwned. I feel like an idiot. Death laser, mega death, super pound to the face. Wow, <laughs> that caused him to roar. That's pretty great. That that first upswing of the super pound it does about the same damage as a kick. So yeah, I think it does slightly more damage than a kick. I'm talking about, like, with purple sharpness and all that. Actually, I think with green sharpness, it does the same damage as the kick. And I think with, um, with purple sharpness, it does slightly more. So, yeah. Just the multiplier is... Or the, the number is just so ludicrously low about how much damage it does. Like, it, like it doesn't even kill... I don't think this kills an Astaroth. Or not an Astaroth, a, um, friggin', uh, oh god, I'm gonna get stunned. Oh no, I didn't. Awesome. God. I'm, those little bug things. Those little, uh, walk-around bug things, those yellow guys. One of those doesn't kill it on low rank with purple sharpness. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit. Yep. Whether he did another jump up or he did that attack, I would have gotten hit! Fucking shit, he is ready to capture. However, I'm going to wait to capture him because I'm not 100% sure. Well, I am 100% sure, but I'm still going to wait anyway. Because I'm a hipster. Not really a hipster, but kind of a hipster. I mean, most monsters, when they're ready to capture, you just want to wait until they're ready to capture, but I just kind of want to showcase the monster for as long as possible. You see him limping off and all that fun stuff. But yeah, generally, the monsters that can dig, um, Ignactor and Diablos, uh, when they get ready to capture, they'll dig a lot more, like a lot more frequently. That's to avoid, you know, being captured. Just like Rathalos. If Rathalos is ready to capture, he'll fly a lot more. I don't think Rathian will. I'm not sure. You're lasering a lot. But you're like getting hit. <laughs> Fucking masochist. They'll also um, transfer areas a lot more. Alright, he's ready. 
He's gotta be ready. He's not. Shit! He's not shit. Then yes. He's limping. Yep. There's his limp. I'm only gonna paint him so I know when he sleeps. And I will go give him a welcome party at 10. That is where he sleeps. I do not want to fight him in 10 because it's infuriating. <laughs> Very, very infuriating fighting in Nagtor in 10, because that area is fucking small. Wait. One, two, three. He's sleeping. I hope he is anyway. Okay. Lullaby and good night. Go to sleep, little Agna. You're not really little, but go to sleep anyway. Nice. A little longer than I'd like, but that is the nature of Ignactor. He's got a lot of health. Not my fastest run, but whatever. Here's my set. Devil's Crush, standard, Helios, and all of this is very, very standard, and I've shown this before. I've shown all this before as well. The only the reason why I don't have Evasion plus 2 is my charm. I, if I had an Evasion plus 7 charm, I would be able to have Evasion plus 2, but alas, I don't. So, yeah. <laughs> evasion plus 7 charms are hard to come by. I've never seen one, so... There is always that. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. That was Ignatator. And I will see you next time for... Hmm. Probably Rathalos next. Laters.